Hey, this clip is from the most recent episode of the Nick Simmons Show. If you want to see that show in its entirety, I've linked it below. But today we're talking to Grace, and Grace is stuck in no man's land. She doesn't have anyone to train with. We've all been there. How can you rise to the occasion and be the best runner you can be without training partners? I'll let you know in today's clip. Let's roll it. I'm on a team and like there aren't a lot of girls this year so I have like a hard time running with like people you know like that are around my pace because like there's a lot of people who are faster than me so my question is like how should I like run like how how do I train like if it's just me yeah well training by yourself is challenging but it also presents a really unique opportunity right I think that by training by yourself you really learn to feel out pace. So when, I, when I'm running with other people, especially when I'm running intervals, a lot of the time I'm letting them set the pace and I'm just kind of shutting my mind off and going for the ride. And that's, you yeah. know, that's really nice because it makes it a little bit easier. But if you want to be the kind of athlete that can hit pace really well, there's no better way to learn how to do that than by running by yourself. And I, I really believe that a really great runner can hit pace to the second, you know? And so this, as, as hard as it's gonna be for you to do the majority of your training by yourself, it's also a huge opportunity for you to go out and learn how to be the best metronome, the best pace setter, so that when your coach gives you an interval, whether it's in a practice situation or on the, on the, on a race, in a race, you're the kind of athlete that can hit pace just right. And pacing is so critical to becoming the best runner that you can be. Now, one of the nice things is that you're not gonna have to run all your intervals by yourself. Uh, certainly you can warm up and cool down with other people, right? And that's, yeah. that's gonna be a lot of your mileage. And then uh, your easy runs too. Is there anybody on your team that you can do your easy runs with? Um, yeah. So uh, maybe, my, maybe my suggestion to you, and, and I actually experienced this a little bit myself you know, during my career, you know, whenever you're running easy mileage, the warm up, the cool down, the, the easy jogging, you know, certainly during those times, make sure you're running with people, make it social, have a conversational pace. But when you're hitting those intervals, instead of looking at it as a, you know, I, I'm, I'm missing something because I don't have training partners running my pace, look at it as an opportunity to practice hitting pace and be the kind of athlete that hits pace really accurately. Yeah. And also, what year are you? Um, I'm in 10th grade. Yeah. So, so that's the other thing. There's going to be more every single year. There's a new crop of athletes coming out. Right. And every single year you're going to have an opportunity to train with new people. So if this season you find yourself in no man's land training by yourself a lot, don't fret. There will be more training partners. I promise. Yeah. All right, Grace, best of luck with your season and the, and the rest of your career. Thank you so much for calling in. You're welcome. Thanks. All right, I hope you found that helpful. Guys, I got to shout out my company, Run Gum. They help me produce these shows so that we can have content for you every day. And right now, I'm talking about Run Gum Wintergreen. This little pack right now can be found nationwide at Walmart right at the check lane. And you may notice something funny about this one. That's right, I hand autographed it. Guess what? I hid hand autographed packs of Run Gum in the packages before we shipped them to Walmart. There are 10 autographed packets on Walmart store shelves right now at the cash register. Good luck finding one.